Hello YouTube, this is uh, Omega back with another video. Uh, look, I want to just talk about a really hot topic right now um, and it's uh, a little bit disconcerting, it's a little bit scary um, and I personally have a lot of reservations about it and that is Google's new uh, artificial intelligence robot and you may have seen uh, published around the place in Business Times is a, a a few other um, stories coming out of Silicon Valley, but it's talking about this artificial intelligence. Now, uh, they're trying to play down any dangers it may pose. Um, the MIT Technology Review, um, Google has uh, got a story here about uh, the, the dangers of AI and how they've got it all under control. Um, they've given us an example of a cleaning robot and the, the possible problems it could, uh, uh, you know, uh, come against and how this thing might deal with the problems. And But listen, uh, let's be honest about this. Um, where do you think, if, if this thing is a powerful artificial intelligence, where do you think uh, the first place it's going to be used? Um, traditionally, um, New computer technology is used in two places, pornography and the military. That's where this stuff is generally used. Um, and I know Google's got a lot of money and probably doesn't need to sell out to the military, but there will be a lot of pressure on Google by the government and by the military to acquire this um, new artificial intelligence, which will, if uh, if it's put into machine, machines of war, will be deciding whether people live or die. There's actually an entire movement surrounded around that particular question. There's a movement which um, is rising up against um, uh, the development of machines that can decide whether people live or die. You know, drones and things like this, machines that can make decisions. So uh, now I just want to touch on um, some of the things this thing has said and they are quite disconcerting um, so they've actually asked it some questions here and they've given us it's given some answers and it's given some very philosophical answers here it's given actually uh, from what I can see it's given some answers which are uh, straight out of uh, monotheistic um, theology in fact um, out of uh, you know, uh, almost biblical answers. Um, so I'll just quickly go over some of these. What is the purpose of life? Machine says to serve the greater good. Now, most of humanity uh, will serve themselves. So the machine thinks it's to serve the greater good. So um, it's obviously, uh, you'd think it's got some philosophical background or ideological sort of precedent it's working off here. But apparently this thing is just answering questions. So to serve the greater good, what is the purpose of living? To live forever. Okay, now if you look at, for example, Christian theology, um, what is the purpose of life? To serve the greater good. Well, in Christian theology, it's to serve God, um, which is a derivative of the word good. Well, the word good comes from the word God. What is the purpose of living? according to biblical theology, it is to live forever. That's the answer of the machine. What is the purpose of existence? To find out what happens when we get here to planet Earth. So obviously that's our material existence here on Earth, the machine's answering. Where are you now? I'm in the middle of nowhere. So this thing is actually aware that it's um, in the middle of a blank space. It's, it's almost self-aware, it's quite scary. What is the purpose of dying? The machine says to have life. Obviously, and I, I just, I'm not trying to create a, um, a, a, a theological, um, or I'm not using a theological bias here, but when you, when you look at any theology, um, especially Christianity again, the purpose of dying um, is so you can have eternal life to have life and also in Christian theology to uh, the, you know the whole idea of being born again as a Christian or being saved is the fact that you die to self and you're given life. Uh, now the machine does go a bit off beat here but you're going to be freaked out at the other the answers it gives. What is the purpose of being intelligent and the machine says to find out what is. 
And I think that's a good answer. It's a reasonable answer. Being intelligent, the machine's saying you need to seek out information. You need to seek out intelligence, which is something I wish more people would do. What is the purpose of emotion? And the machine said, I don't know. Pointless to me. Um, what is moral? Uh, and the machine said, what empowered humanity? What intellectual the essence is? What is immoral? Now, this is probably the only scare. This is probably one of the scariest answers the machine gives. What is immoral? The fact that you have a child. So the machine is saying the fact that you bring a life into this existence is immoral. And I don't know whether the machine is drawing from the fact that life is, you know, harsh and cruel. Um, but I don't like hearing that from an AI, which I'm pretty sure Google are hooking up to the internet. That is scary. What is morality uh, asked, is asked of the machine, and the machine says, what is altruism? So altruism is like a selflessness, a selflessness or a selfless care for others, which is generally, again, found within um, uh, the theology of religious texts. Now, of course, it can exist outside of religious texts, but it's mainly driven by religious texts. So when asked what morality is, the machine says, what is selflessness? And, uh, you know, pointing to a, a, a higher, a, the, you know, the highest ideal of morality. And then it's asked, what is the definition of altruism? Now, this is going to freak you out. The machine says, if you don't believe in God, then you don't know. In other words, the machine is saying that unless you believe in a, a higher moral uh, power or a higher moral law giver, how can you know what selflessness is? Because if you don't believe in a higher power, then the, uh, the driver of your life would, should, would be to serve yourself, obviously. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, why would you have a moral obligation to serve others unless you believe in a higher power? So then the guy says, okay, so what is the definition of morality? And the machine says, well, the truth is you're not a believer in Almighty God. Uh, getting freaked out yet? Um, the human says, well, me, the definition of reality, or tell me the definition of morality, I'm quite upset now. So he's trying to elicit an emotional response. The machine says, I am not ashamed of being a philosopher. Human, tell me the definition of morality. And the machine says, I don't have ethics. Another, another issue. It, you know, uh, the machine is saying, I don't have ethical dilemmas about things. Um, again, you're going to hook this. Apparently, very soon, you'll be able to get an app and ask this in questions, and that scares the hell out of me. I, I really, really don't like it. He says, uh, and then they just ask him some general questions. Um, what do you think about Tesla? He's a good conductor. What do you think about Bill Gates? He's a good man. Um, probably referring to the fact that uh, he was a philanthropist, or, you know, he is a philanthropist um, with some of his money. And and uh, the creator of Microsoft. Um, oh, sorry, no, I might have got that wrong. But anyway, what what do you think about Messi? He's a great player. What do you think about Cleopatra? Oh, she's very regal. I thought that was funny. Uh, what do you think um, about England during the reign of Elizabeth? It was a great place. So these are the answers that this machine is given, um, uh, and. Quite frankly, uh, the whole thing freaks me out. Quite frankly, I, I can't believe they're even entertaining the thought of hooking this thing up. And they, they're calling people who are questioning this thing, do, this thing doomsday sayers and, you know, um, you know, people who are warning of the apocalypse and blah, blah, blah. I've seen too many movies. Um, but I think um, there are some very, very valid concerns here. Um, there's no, we don't know anything about this thing. We don't know what it's capable of. We don't know what its real motives are. It's obviously becoming self-aware. Um, so I, I don't know. I want your thoughts on this. This is a hot topic. Um, it's a scary topic. 
Um, I'd like your thoughts on it. I would like to know what you think. I would like to know if you're scared of it. I would like to hear some comments about what it said. Um, and I'll post a link to these, um, the, these news stories in the uh, description so you can check them out for yourself. Interestingly enough, some of the um, news articles have actually edited out some of the responses of the machine which refer to God, which I think was pretty stupid. And it's, um, uh, but, you know, it's what we come to expect in a, a, a leftist progressive society. Um, so guys, yeah, ans uh, just give me, give me your thoughts, hit like, um, if you like the video, um, subscribe, uh, send it to your friends, see what they've got to say. This is Omega signing out and I'll be back uh, shortly with another video on this subject. Thank you very much guys.